Order 2024 Board of Directors Annual Meeting, Wednesday, May 15, 2024, 4 p.m. at the Lotus Headquarters, 965 North 18th Street. Before we get started today, I want to acknowledge um, our chairman, Chief Carl Dunn. He is not in attendance today. He's having back issues. So as vice chair, I'll be running the meeting today. At this time, we'll ask for an invocation and blessing of the foot of the mill. Um, Pastor Hunter. Yes. You all mind standing. Please. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you now for this day and for your grace and your mercy. We pray your blessings upon our coming up on this organization and all of the seniors of our parish that we serve. I ask that you bless our going forward for this new board and, and the administration that things will go well for another year's journey. We ask also in this same prayer that you would bless the food that we will partake of, that it may be well for the nourishment of our bodies. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now we have our roll call. Chief Carl Dunn. Sergeant Connie Kurse. Here. Dr. Derek Cole. Ms. Ingrid Payne. Present. Rep. C. Denise Marcel. Present. Ms. Mary Washington. Present. Attorney Stephen Schilling. Ms. Pamela Mitchell. Present. Councilwoman Carolyn Coleman. Reverend Dr. Mary Whitley Moss. Here. Reverend Donald Hunter Sr. Present. Attorney Jacqueline Nash Grant. Present. Ms. Geraldine Key. Here. Ms. Jerry Booker. Here. And Attorney Jennifer Mozan. Madam Vice Chair, we have a quorum. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead. Public comments. Oh, okay. Um, and, and before we go to public comments, I do want to uh, ask you all to, um, to keep Attorney Stephen Schilling in your prayers. His son is hospitalized, and he's been there um, at the Children's Hospital for a couple of weeks, and he's, he'll be there for some time. And so you all just keep him uh, in your thoughts and prayers. Okay. Okay. At this time, I would like to acknowledge the I would not like to acknowledge the advisory board who is here with us, joining us for our annual meeting today. Thank you for your attendance. Now, do we have any public comments? Okay. Okay, right. next. Next, we'll have greetings from Ms. Tasha Clark and Aymar. Um, not much. First, I want to thank you for uh, altering your schedule. We had an issue at the uh, Main Street building uh, with the storm and the weather. One of the units decided to go to sleep indefinitely. It's the unit that, that runs the big room, so I couldn't have us there without it. Some of us might be flashing, or so I was. So we had to change last minute, so I thank you for that. I want to thank you all for serving uh, in your capacities this year. The seniors truly appreciate it. Uh, we thank you because we know it takes a lot out of your schedule. Many of you uh, board members come to both meetings, committee meetings, and so we want to appreciate your volunteerism. Also, I want to thank the advisory board members that are here tonight, today. They um, always keep me straight. They give me the directions that I share with you all. And so if, it, if it's not for them, it will be no us. That's right, Mr. Hook, say amen. <laughs> and you know, and, and just FYI, they changed prom this year. We have in the uh, Western Boot School, um, Texas. I don't know what we are calling it. I don't want to say hold down on the record, but I think it's a hold down. And uh, we, they don't want to wear them dresses. They want to wear boots and dukes so get ready for that this year but i just want to give great thanks and acknowledgement to them because they're very very active and these seniors uh and we have a few that's missing but they represent the 23 locations across the parish so i want to thank them and that's all I got. oh lastly we have the governor's office of elderly affairs is here today our new um compliance officer miss 
then whittle, mm -hmm. then witty. So she's here today. All right. Make sure we do this right. Okay. All right. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Um, we're about to have our nominating committee report by Attorney Jacqueline Nash Grant. At this time, anyone in attendance who did not receive a ballot and vote at one of your centers or vote prior to this, um, raise your hand. We'll get a ballot passed out to you. Board members, your ballots are in your packets. Welcome to the 2024 annual membership meeting. I am Jacqueline Nash Grant. I am an appointed member of the Board of Directors and it's been my great honor to serve in this capacity. I am chairman of the Board Development Committee. And so as you know, the processes went forward this year to appoint new board members. We have uh, board members, I won't call them old board members. We had previous board members who rolled off and we had new people apply who were interested in working for Council on Aging. And we had a very robust uh, application process. The board uh, committee Development Committee did in fact uh, fill the seats uh, from the applicants. We went through all of the proper processes and so that is what I am presenting to you today. This is the annual membership meeting for the purpose of electing board members. Board members can serve two consecutive terms for a period of three years each. There are four expired seats that will be replaced today. Here is the list of the expired seats. Attorney Stephen Schilling, he represented the Baton Rouge community appointment. Representative C. Denise Marcel represented the nonprofit community appointment. Mrs. Pamela Mitchell represented the central community appointment and Dr. Derek Cole represented public-private agency community. The Board Development Committee held a meeting in accordance with the organization's bylaws. During that meeting, the committee members were tasked with soliciting recommendations for candidates who had applied for open vacancies. The committee then reviewed the recommendations. The selections were then submitted to the full board meeting, which was held on Thursday, April 25th. As a result, the Board Development Committee has provided the board with a list of potential candidates who have been deemed suitable for the open positions. Here is a list of nominees. Also, I think at this point, I need to acknowledge that the members of the centers voted under the direction of Miss Eva Pratt who went to each center and I will acknowledge each center's name Antioch, Baker, Ben Burge, Bishop Ott, Catholic, Central, Cheneyville, Charles Kelly, Dumas, Greater King David, Highland, Jewel J. Newman, Leo S. Butler, the Lotus Center, Pearl George, Perkins slash Homewood, Charlotte Terrace, Turner Plaza, Zachary, and also that the staff also voted. So now what we'll have is a presentation of the votes and the pre presentation of the nominees. Any questions so far? The first term for May 20. 24 to May 2027, Sonia B. Boss, representing the Baton Rouge Community Appointment, Kathy Coleman, representing the Nonprofit Community Appointment, Coach Anthony Jones, representing the Central Community Appointment, and State Representative Larry Selders representing the public-private agency appointment. In addition, our current, and just right on cue, 
our current board member, Councilwoman Carolyn Coleman, is running for her second term. <laughs> Carolyn, Carolyn Coleman, Councilwoman, is from representing the public-private community. Voting took place, as I said last week, at the senior centers, and we have the results, uh, certified results from Ms. Pratt, uh, from Mrs. Pratt on the votes. Uh, we have prepared ballots for the board members to make this process easier. We will also take nominations from the floor. I will give you a moment to open your ballots and please listen carefully for each position. Ms. Pratt, do you want me to give the results from the senior centers after we vote? Yes. Okay. So open the ballots before you, before you can open your ballots now as you listen to me read each nominee. The first one, the first nominee for the Baton Rouge Community Appointment is Sonia B. Boss. Sonia B. Boss is a registered pharmacist. She is practicing at the Baton Rouge General Medical Center Mid-City and has over 25 years of experience as a community pharmacist. She served in multiple settings such as outpatient hospitals and geriatric care. Ms. Boss has a passion for the community, especially our elderly in the East Baton Rouge Parish community. Ms. Boss has many accomplishments such as working through civic organizations and advocating for the rights of others through social justice. This journey has afforded her a deep understanding with the aging community. Sonia B. Boss, Baton Rouge Community Appointment. Our next nominee is Kathy N. Coleman, Nonprofit Appointment. Ms. Kathy N. Coleman is a native of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and is on the board of the Grandparents Raising Grandchildren Information Center of Louisiana Organization. She currently serves on the board of directors as president and CEO and runs the day-to-day -day operations. Mrs. Coleman has held this position for over 12 years and is dedicated to the mission of the organization. Mrs. Coleman has raised six grandchildren, which is why she enjoys being on the board. She has many accomplishments, such as serving as the president-elect of the board of the Inter-Civic Council of Greater Baton Rouge and the Governor's Advisory Board for Grandparents Raising Grandchildren. She is also a past member of the East Baton Rouge Parish Council on Aging. Kathy Coleman, nonprofit appointment. The next nominee is Anthony G. Jones for the Central Community Appointment. Mr. Anthony G. Jones is the head football coach at Glen Oaks Magnet High School. Mr. Jones has a sincere passion for working with the elderly in this parish. His parents are proud members of the East Baton Rouge Council on Aging, and that plays a big role in his desire to be a member of the Board of Directors. His goal is to connect the youth with the elderly and build intergenerational bonds. Mr. Jones assures himself to give, assures us to give his best as a central community appointment and to become an asset for the East Baton Rouge Parish Council on Aging Board of Directors. That's Coach Anthony G. Jones, central community appointment nominee. And the last, as we say not least, is the public private agency appointment, Mr. State Representative Larry Selders. The Honorable Larry Selders is an American politician serving as a member of the Louisiana House of Representatives from District 67. 
Representative Seldes obtained his, bachelor's of degree, his Bachelor of Science degree in social work at Southern University and A&M College. He is also a member of the Men's Federation and a volunteer with the Student Government Association when he was a student. State Representative Seldes has many accomplishments such as serving on the exec as the Executive Director Administrator for Focus Family Services, an organization committed to providing quality mental and behavioral health services to influence and improve the quality of life. The Honorable Selders is dedicated to working collaboratively with fellow board members to create a more inclusive and supportive environment for the seniors of this parish. Mr. Honorable Larry Selders. <laughs> State representative and a nominee of the public private agency appointment. Now I have announced all of the nominees. I have read your bios. Now it's time to say are there any nominations for membership? on the Board of Directors for East Baton Rouge Council on Aging. Are there any nominations? Are there any nominations? At this time, Madam Vice Chair, I'll entertain a motion to close the floor for nominations for Board of Directors. It's been moved by Representative C. Denise Marcel and seconded by um, Ms. Mary Washington that we close nominations from the four other nominees for the Board of Directors. Okay, thank you. Now, members of the board, and I also think our Executive Director, Tasha Clark Amar, can now vote. And after you vote, your vote will be raise your hand after you have completed voting. It will be collected by Ms. Pratt and her staff and they will then count your votes. So we are now in the voting procedure. When you are finished voting, please raise your hand. Have all board members voted? Reverend Hunter has raised his hand. Okay. So, so Ms. Pratt will now count the vote. She and Scooter will, I mean, I'm sorry, Mr. Emery will, will now count the vote. They will now count the vote at the board. And just let me acknowledge that I, I did not get a ballot, so I did not vote. I didn't get a ballot. have a good suggestion from our good member, Mrs. Uh, Booker. Will, when I call your names, will you please stand so that we can see you nominees? The Honorable Larry Selders, State Representative, American Politician. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we're going to take that. 
take politician out, we're gonna say public servant. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. I'm here to serve and just like the board's been serving, you know, I've seen this for years and I, I come to keep it going. Um, it's a great organization to be a part of. I'm excited about being on the board. I'm more excited because it's in my district yeah. and I can keep my eye on everybody. <laughs> I, I, I always have access to me, so I'm excited for being here. I'm excited about the nomination and I'm excited for joining the board. Thank you. Miss Sonia B. Boss. Now y'all didn't applaud for y'all didn't applaud for Representative Selders. I just thought I'd note that. <laughs> Miss and and uh, no stranger to this board, Miss Kathy Coleman, Mrs. Kathy Coleman. She's not here. Okay. And Coach Anthony G. Jones. And then last but not least, uh, for her second term, coming up to the rear, last but not least, the honorable American politician, <laughs> community servant, Carolyn Coleman. She gave that good speech before, after y'all vote. <laughs> so Ms. Pratt and Mr. Emery are getting our numbers together for transparency purposes and also for the record, we would like to announce the number of votes that each person received. So in addition to the number of members from the senior centers, we had 10 board members, one CEO, and one member of the general public to vote. These are the total votes, and I will make this assumption, if it's okay with everyone, to give the total votes instead of breaking down by each senior center. The total number of votes accumulated and earned by Sonia Boss community appointment was 751. The total number of votes for Kathy Coleman nonprofit community appointment was 708. The total number for central community appointment, Coach Anthony G. Jones, 710. The total number of public for public private uh, community appointment 
non-American politician Larry <laughs> Selders <laughs> is 753. And for reappointment for everything glorious, Carolyn <laughs> Coleman, Councilwoman, 698. Let me add that the number of staff who voted, uh, staff also participated in this vote, and the number of staff members that voted was 96. Are there any questions? Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations on being appointed to the East Baton Rouge Council on Aging Board of Directors. Okay, at this time, I would like to call up the Honorable Judge Yvette Alexander, Baton Rouge City Court Division B, for, ins for the installation of the board members. Thank you. All of them have to be sworn in whether you're elected or not today. Yeah, because it's a one-year term. So I want to say to each of you today, especially the new board members, this oath that you're about to take for this um, East Baton Rouge Council on Aging is probably going to be one of the most rewarding oaths and positions that you're going to hold because our future lies in our seniors, and they are very important. Sometimes when you read articles, um, they say that Americans don't take care of their seniors. And I say they don't live in Baton Rouge. Right. Because we in Baton Rouge are taking care of our seniors. And I remember when the Seymour became the director, we had to beg, borrow, we didn't steal, but we had to beg <laughs> and borrow to get the, the small things. And now the community has embraced it because of the leadership from not only Ms. Amar, but her staff, the board, and everybody connected. So I say to you today, if you are not willing to work really hard, to care about our seniors, and to help make Baton Rouge a great place for them to live, speak now, or forever hold your peace. So do each of you agree that you will follow this mission, which is supporting independent serving seniors from the East Baton Rouge Parish Council on Aging? If so, say I do. I do. Okay, raise your right hand, please. I. I. State your name. Do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that, I will uphold that I will uphold the bylaws, the, bylaws, the, rules, the rules, and any other written type of agreement of the East Baton Rouge Parish Council on Asia. I, I will support, will support this, organization this organization to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. As, As, say what you are. Okay. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations to each of you. There's any outgoing members who would like to make a statement this time? You have the opportunity to. Okay. You want to make a statement, Miss? Miss? Okay. <laughs> I have so enjoyed this. And if you send Tasha an email about something, she calls you. So <laughs> you can discuss it and get everything worked out. That's right. And it's been a true learning experience, and I so appreciate the opportunity. We've had a lot of fun. We have. The way too. Yeah. Thank you so much, Miss. afternoon. I feel like I've been here forever, even before I was a board member. I've worked with the Council on Aging, and I've had an opportunity to serve in several capacities on the board, 
and work along with Tasha and the staff. Mm -hmm. And I can say it's been truly enjoyable to work with the seniors, but more importantly, doing the line dance with them, but I got a bad <laughs> knee right now, so I got to hold up. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it really has been a great experience, and I, I'm leaving y'all in good hands with Representative Larry Selden, mm -hmm. who's gonna continue to fight for funding for this agency, and I know he will. Uh, so I'm, I'm confident that you're in great hands with the state representative, and I wish you all well. Certainly, anything I can do uh, going forward, I'm going to continue to be here for Council on Aging. I may not be on the board, but I will certainly be here to support the Council on Aging as I always have. Right. So, thank you all for allowing me to serve in this capacity. Love you all very much. Thank you. This time, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Thank you so much. All right. Okay, it's been moved and second means the journey. Okay, what well Council on aging.